Hey everyone, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am somewhere new today. It's beautiful, like branchy, overpass, um, gazebo, whatever you, however you say it. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day, a good night. Whoever's watching this, what time of day it is for you. Thank you for clicking on my videos. Thank you so much. Um, so today's video is called "Why You Six Reasons Why You Should Trust." In God's goodness um, one trusting God's goodness gives us hope so being hopeful um, in God is good but saying you know I hope this happens I hope this happens it's kind of like you're not really wanting it to happen but hope is okay as as long as you have hope in God um, the second reason is trusting God's goodness helps us endure goodness for others so if I'm working if I'm working for God and I have you know I have the hope that God will send me the love in my heart for for everyone else um, I can work for him and you know he will give me the goodness that he does for me that I can give to others so it's basically God working through me um, the third one is God's goodness is everywhere to be found. He is everything. God is the trees, the grass, the birds. You know, it's it's a good thing that, you know, you hear birds and... <laughs> talking now. Um, and you can, you know, just every animal, every beautiful animal, every person. God is, you know, everything. Everything that he's made. Um, excuse me for looking down. Um, I'm, I am reading off of my journal, which is completely fine. Um, and I advise you guys to do that as well. Um, so the fourth one is seek God and you will find his goodness. So if you are, you know, thinking, oh, God's, God's nowhere, like he does never talk to me, never does anything. Well, that's because you, you don't you don't seek him you don't try and find his goodness and you don't you don't see that that if you're not trying you know God's not gonna give that back to you um, the fourth one or the fifth one excuse me is God's goodness is worth talking about so for an example if if God does something good for you it's worth talking about it's it's worth that versus something negative that happened into your life you know why would you want to talk about something negative that happened when you can talk about all the goodness that God has gave to you and has given to you and will still give to you? And another thing that is, it's not on the reasons, but um, I want to say that if you thank God for everything he's done and everything that he will do, it, 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 will, it will boost your goodness from him on a level from here to here. Um, so number six is God's God's good to those who wait so not saying that you wait and just just sit there with your arms like this and expect God to do whatever he does you have you have to love God and you have to be with God and you have to follow your heart and you have to allow God you know to be inside of you um, and the whole you know God does things for people who wait is more of patience have patience with God you know, he won't answer your prayers right away because, you know, God works in mysterious ways and he really does. Um, that doesn't mean that he doesn't care. It doesn't mean that he's, he has a waiting list and he bumped you to the end because he doesn't have time for your prayer. He hears your prayer and he's the one who decides if it's time to answer that or not. All you have to do is trust in him. Trust in him and have faith that he will do what he, what he will for you and that he will guide you and lead you into the right direction you just have to follow your heart and make sure that God is in your heart because you know if you have a heart full of negativity and a heart full of you know very toxic and all these um, bad entities that you you won't release then you know it's a little it's a little hard for you to hear the things that God wants you to do so I advise you to just trust in him and as simple as that it you know, words, sometimes people don't really think about words. You know, they think about it as just words. So just simply think about what does trust mean. If you know what trust means, then you can trust in God. Um, that's that's all the six steps that I wrote down that I felt um, 
was a need for God's goodness, to trust in his goodness. Um, <laughs> excuse the lighting. It's good, but it's, it's pretty bright. <laughs> Thank you, God. Um, I just, you know, every day is, it, it gets better for me. You know, I was recently very, very, being a very toxic person and then just breathing and thinking about God and just allowing him to talk to me every day, every second, he begins to work and he really does, honestly. Um, and I've seen that from coming out of church and being religious and, you know, letting go of religious, um, religion and becoming more spiritual. Um, but that is all that I have for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you like to see more, then you can like and subscribe, maybe comment, um, whatever you feel. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.